watching India today and I have with me the team of The Secret of Buddha Relics. Uh, firstly, tell me like uh, when you were researching for it and of course Manoj, when you were shooting for it, what was that most fascinating fact about Buddha that you guys got to know about? I think everything about the aspect of his his last journey, his uh, his last days uh, on this planet was her cheese. I think fascinating. है कोई ऐसी चीज़ है नहीं जो fascinating नहीं थी. ये कहानी किसी को पता नहीं है. ये कहानी लोगों को जानना ज़रूरी थी. इसीलिए हम लोग इस कहानी में we went into it. जी. Exactly that. I mean, uh, what we know of Buddha is so little, uh, and especially the last days, the last night that he spent, and the whole concept of how these relics they were envisioned to be a part of our history. Uh, I mean, that foresightedness and uh, uh, that clarity of vision. That 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 was the most striking thing that we came across. Yeah. मुझे जो लास्ट डेज में उन्होंने जो खाना खाया था जिसके बाद वो पहली बार बीमार पड़े थे राइट और बहुत बुरी तरीके से बीमार पड़े थे वो जिसके बाद उनको उन्होंने अपने दिमाग में एक प्लान तैयार किया था कि हाउ इज़ गोइंग टू लीव इज बॉडी एंड वैन ओके सो जो खाना जो खाया वो उसका नाम शुक्र शकर मुद्दू शकर मुद्दू ये शकर मुद्दू जो है क्या था ये अभी तक लोगों को नहीं पता चला है कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि वो मशरूम था या ट्रफुल हो सकता है लेकिन एक इतना बड़ा संत और जिस जो है वो जब बीमार पड़ा और किस तरीके से बीमार पड़ा और बीमारी के बाद बुद्ध उनके जो टीचिंग्स हैं आगे कैसे जाएं और संघ कैसे आगे बढ़े इसको लेकर के उन्होंने उन्होंने एक पूरा प्लान तैयार किया उसका सबसे बड़ा कारण था वो कि वो बीमार पड़े और ये ये जो शुक्र बुद्धू जो है इसका नाम पहली बार मैंने सुना तो या तो कुछ बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं जब आप मैं आज एन एंकर जाता हूँ वहाँ पर ये 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 लोग जो है बहुत डीपली उसको रिसर्च करते हैं तो मेरे लिए एक तरीके से एजुकेशन होता है जब मैं मैं पढ़ता हूँ उसको या जब मैं वो उसको कर रहा होता हूँ रिहर्स कर रहा होता हूँ तो देर आर मैनी थिंग्स दैट आई लर्न विच आर विच आर फार मोर नॉट ओनली एजुकेशनल बट ऑल्सो यू ओपन यूर आईज अबाउट सो मैनी सो मैनी अदर थिंग्स या एंड बिकॉज मनोज ऑफकोर्स यू आर फ्रॉम बिहार अटल भी बुद्ध गया वहाँ है तो बचपन में किस तरह की स्टोरी सुनते थे नो नो आई बीन टू ऑल ऑफ दिस प्लेसेज और मेरे मेरे घर से मेरे मामा नाना का घर जो है वो करीब 20 किलोमीटर दूर पे है वहाँ पर बुद्ध बौद्ध स्तूप जो होता है वो वहाँ पे है तो टूरिस्ट आते हैं वहाँ पे टूरिस्ट आते हैं जापान से आते हैं और चाहे जितने भी बुद्धिस्ट कंट्रीज़ हैं वहाँ से टूरिस्ट आते हैं वो बौद्ध स्तूप को देखने के लिए और वहीं पर पास में नंदनगढ़ करके एक किला है बहुत पुराना एंड दैट इज़ ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द एशियन टाइम एंड गुप्ता काल का तो ये इस हम हम लोग तो बुद्ध की पूरे बौद्ध स्तूप को देखते हुए बड़े हुए हैं एंड हम लोग तो वहाँ जाके खेलते थे क्रिकेट खेलते थे ये तो बाद में नेशनल आर्काइव ने जो है उसको सबको अखबार करना शुरू किया एंड देन दे दे स्टार्टेड प्रिजर्विंग इट एंड प्रोटेक्टिंग इट पहले तो क्रिकेट खेलते थे हमको पता ही नहीं हमको लगता था कि पता नहीं क्या बनाया हुआ है हमको ज़्यादा कुछ पता नहीं होता था ना कभी पता करने की कोशिश करते थे क्योंकि उस तरह की उम्र थी Uh, and both of you, like, how different is it to research and make a project like this? Uh, because, of course, you come from feature film background. Uh, tell me about making something like this. Like, was it a challenge or is was it fun? How was it actually? It's it's definitely fun because in the end कहानियाँ ही हैं हमें कहानी बोलने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और उसको सही तरीके से क्योंकि हिस्ट्री को जब हम देखते भी हैं वो हमें हमेशा अपने स्कूल की हिस्ट्री याद आ जाती है एक एक तरीका है हिस्ट्री को समझाने का तो स्कूल में इतना इंटरेस्ट रहता नहीं है so with stories we try to you know uh, you know tell the same story in a more interesting manner tell the facts uh, in the right manner get our research done from the experts because ye jitne hame research milti hai hame experts se milti hai unhone kafi saal lagaye hain isko research karne mein unhone apni puri zindagi laga rakhi hai so unhi se jo humko stories milti hain jo research milti hai usko hum apne experience se aur with sir's guidance hum log usko ek ek direction de pate hain you know and that storytelling of course comes from our films background only yeah. ji so wo kahin na kahin bahut important hai is story को भी जो हम बताते हैं जी नीरज हाउ इज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ रिसर्चिंग समथिंग दैट्स वे बैक इन हिस्ट्री 
I started out in documentaries so for me this is homecoming every time i get a chance to tell a story in this format it is a, a real relief you don't have to deal with too many actors <laughs> <laughs> and <coughs> and working with manoj has always been a treat and uh, it's it's uh, it's just like you know it's a very compact team that uh, gets into this project and uh, it's education like he pointed out very rightly it's education for us yeah. uh, we get to know and learn so many things in the in the process of uh, doing this and obviously because we've done uh, films we've done series and stuff that uh, learning the learning from that format also helps to make this as interesting and as palatable for the audience yeah. as possible yeah. uh, and because as actors you kind of are very close to spirituality because your work is your uh, you worship your work and because when we talk about buddha uh, we also talk about spirituality uh, tell me manoj how spiritual are you as a person and do you kind of connect to your work in a spiritual sense see i each i personally be believe that each and every person is spiritual okay uh, it's just that we don't w- what is spiritual a spiritual is someone who is always connected to his soul someone who is always searching the purpose of his or her life yes. uh, in this world and someone who is who believes that everything that is happening to him or around him is all temporary and there is no permanent per, yeah. you know that there is nothing called permanent uh, so this is that this is all spiritual and i think everyone in this world knows this it just that we forget uh, in search of materialism we forget or you know or, or we try to run away from it because mm. materialism gives you a sense of power yeah when you when i when i want a table like that and once i buy it i feel powerful but the what goes against it that the table is going to be here in this world and you <laughs> you will you will fly away <laughs> <laughs> so this is all is spiritualism yeah. i i personally i do my work thinking that it is giving me happiness okay mm. but this is not permanent yeah so there is there is always a, a awareness of that thing or that achievement or that award or that film uh, or that appreciation or that uh, criticism there is an awareness that everything is moving you know right. towards its end uh, wow. you know so if you call me spiritual just because of that it, then yes i, I am uh, also tell me neeraj and raghav uh, uh, we have seen so many historical films being made but there's not much of content related to buddha uh, why do you think has that happened i can, i could only remember one tv show that i watched like completely on buddha mm. i think why it hasn't happened is not for us to answer <laughs> why we are doing this we can answer so uh, uh, i mean why have people not done it how, how do we answer that yeah why we have chased is because we believe in the story yeah. we, we believe that you know it's it's a, it's a great story for the secret franchise yeah. that we do with discovery and uh, uh, i think uh, it's a story that will enthrall everyone also it's the th- last 3 months mm. okay of uh, of buddha Yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how he he how he passed away. Nobody knows what happened to him. Mm. You know, after those three months, and uh, how th- those uh, relics came into you know, yeah. and the whole distributed, and you know, and who's done it, and how it all happened. So that is that 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 how is the is a symbol of curiosity, yeah. right? Is a sign of curiosity, and the uh, documentary filmmakers and the researcher. this is what they do they try to find that how yeah and i think that this is this is why they have gone on this search but if something like this is made manoj would you be interested to play buddha on screen oh any time any time uh, i had the uh, uh, opportunity of uh, of auditioning for uh, buddha's friend young young buddha's friend uh, when mira uh, nayar was supposed to make uh, buddha Right. Okay, and uh, she was auditioning in in Delhi Taj, and uh, some people have recommended my name, so I auditioned for it. Uh, so I have a I have a quite a vivid memory of that wow. that one uh, of of acting in English for the first time <laughs> and giving audition to Mira and so many you know uh, American faces out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how I remember. Right. Mm. 
Uh, Raghav, tell me because you were on field uh, talking to these people. Uh, what is that connecting factor that even after so many years, uh, they hold Buddha so special to them? Like, what was what what did you think of it? Uh, I think just his thought, his his. I mean, कुछ इतना complex उन्होंने चीजों को समझाया नहीं था. बहुत बहुत simple बहुत simplicity में समझाया था. जैसे sir also mentioned the fact about being aware. Hmm. Uh, aware is what I think. If you see it, just break it down into th- it's anything that you're doing. You just focus on that one task itself, whether it is breathing, whether it is eating, whether it is your work. So I think he explained it so simply and uh, cleanly that if you are aware of one thing, focus on that thing will bear results. That thing will take you, you know, to where you want to reach. So I think that is what excited us automatically. And we have kept that in mind. इस कहानी को लेके वो प्योरिटी रखी है दिस वॉज एट अ टाइम बिकॉज बुद्धिज्म भी आप देखे तो इट्स इट्स फर्दर डिवाइडेड आफ्टर हीट पास अवे सो यू नो यू हैड द हीनयान देन यू हैड द महायान मेरा आइडल वर्शिप शुरू हो गया था देन यू हैव द वज्रयान ऑल्सो जिसमें और आइडल्स एड हो गए थे सो वी आर टेलिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ द ओरिजिनल एंड द मोस्ट सिंप्लिस्टिक टर्म्स एट दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम रॉबर देर एक डिकेट थे उंगलीमान करके नाम था तो सब डरते थे उधर जाने के लिए and uh, he had one interaction uh, with him and wo bina jhijak bina dare bud walks into the forest aur samne se ungli maan aate hain aur wo chillate hain us pe to ye darte nahi hai bilkul sthir rehte apna chalte rehte hain so you know ek aisi story thi humko you know how he tackled that man a person who is constantly jo aapne bola tha friend ho jate hain ya gussa ho jate hain of how he was able to tackle society Uh, now this story might just be you know to uh, handle one form of society yeah. so us cheez ko jis tarike se unhone handle kiya tha and jis tarike se usko shant kar diya tha i think that is what spoke about him so such kind of story you will find in the yeah. documentary angli mal hamare hamare text book mein hua karta tha ji 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 fourth fifth standard mein wo bahut hi interesting the sab jante ha angli mal bahut bada daku hua karta tha jang jo jangal mein jo bhi rahe ragir jata tha usko wo lootta tha और लूटने के बाद उस एक उंगली काट करके उस माला में अपने डालता जाता था तो इसीलिए उंगली माल उसका नाम था जब बुद्ध बुद्ध से टकराया तो जैसा कि कहा कि आ, वो बिल्कुल नहीं डरे और और उसके बाद वो बुद्ध के चरणों पे गिर पड़ा था और उसने बुद्ध बुद्ध के बुद्ध का शिष्य हो गया था ऐसा कहते हैं परमानेंस ऑफ the table in some way <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your fleeting existence in yeah. your life yeah so i mean tons of them it's it's just that uh, he means multiple things and uh, i mean just putting him at the uh, uh, in your subconscious uh, is in uh, achievement in itself it's a state of mind yeah. Uh, also, Neeraj, tell me because you come from the background of documentary suddenly there's this rise of docu series on television on ott uh, what do you think has got it back uh, in mainstream uh, content that people are just kind of lapping up to it there was a lull period uh, before but now suddenly everyone is just making docu series very simple uh, earlier documentaries used to be very academic in tone okay as if they were from a high position of information and knowledge okay. and they were looking down upon the audience ke ruko hum tumko batate hain without the charm of hmm. storytelling now uh, the current documentary makers uh, they are treating it as a story okay so in, even if they are telling you unknown things even if they are they are not taking the position of that high handedness that uh, earlier used to be yeah. in our format so they are making it interesting the background score has come into play the narrative has become non linear interesting at times the the voice overs have taken a new uh, sort of shape so all these tools are are new to yeah. this world and they are adding up to the spice of the story and people know the audiences know that this is uh, in a way a true story mm-hmm. or a true incident so that itself lends a big aura yeah. to that uh, particular story so they 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 gel well 
you have always been fascinated by true stories for sure. <laughs> what is that one story next on your list? Uh, yeah, next. I want to make a film and cast me. Yeah, that was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since people have got to know. <laughs> I will hear this throughout the day today. <laughs> so this but is the first is time. Very, very fair request. No, it, it doesn't have to be a request. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a privilege to work with him. I, I mean, whenever it's a collaboration, whether it's even for a documentary, I mean, I look forward to it. Right. And I, I must say in context to this documentary that of of all the three uh, secret episodes that we've done, this one by far remains my favorite. Oh, wow. uh, you will see a very different tone that he mm. has considering the nature of the subject. Mm. I mean, I, I saw him actually uh, taking that, taking to it like fish to water. He just yeah. changed his entire tone on this one, which for me, and that's the reason why it makes uh, yeah. uh, my, I mean, this happens to be my favorite one. What kind of film do you want him to make with you? No, I don't, want him, I, I don't want him to make <laughs> what he's already made, definitely with me. <laughs> but, but I know, so I'm always looking forward to, uh, see, I mean, think, our association now, <laughs> we, we are t too old in this association. <laughs> and uh, there is always uh, uh, a mutual admiration. But yeah. I mean, having said that, I also feel that uh, 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 his office and his fa family is like like my family you know yeah. all of those people you know, him i i know him since so Absolutely. many years you know from from all his sets so all of them are like you know uh, my family members when i go there I'm, I'm the happiest i it's it's not only film it's also what we talk and how what uh, what how we interact what all uh, conversation yeah. that we have that day uh, that 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 you know, uh, makes it very, very important, mm. okay, for us. Yes, I'm going to be part of uh, one of his films very soon. Definitely, we are tr tr trying uh, our level best uh, to make that happen, right. okay. But uska maza nahi kharaab karunga nahi. Announcement ka maza kyon kharaab kare? Uske liye alag interview. But Agam, tell me as a fan, like, what is your suggestion? What kind of a film should they do? They do. Yeah, like they've of course done some fab work together. Like what is the genre they should try next? Uh, thriller? <laughs> 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 I thriller. Karna hai, sir. I think Sir, I love story. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Only Neeraj can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, he, because he's made a a different kind of a love story. I also call it a love story, definitely. Why not? Ouch, a short film. And I think it's hilarious. It's a, it's a romantic comedy, if you ask me. Uh, but he, he only he could see me in that role, in that kind of a story. Yeah. And it just kind of took out a certain aspect of, of my actor, which was quite fascinating. I mean, whenever somebody is watching, one day I was, you know, I saw, I was going to uh, New York and someone was watching it uh, in the flight. Oh. And uh, and that someone was not from India, you know. He happened to be an American guy, white American guy. And uh, after uh, it was over, I just went went across to him and I said, "How did you like it?" He said, "What?" Uh, I said, "No, that uh, film that he was you were watching." He said, uh, "It was, oh my God, <laughs> you are the same guy." <laughs> It was so, and then he loved it. So you know, wow. so I I think um, Rago is is uh, you know just uh, he's so right that you know I I would like to do something, and why not uh, a, a person of my age can do a love story? Why not? We would love yeah. to see you in yeah. a love story. <laughs> For you, one of you also some a film like Banda like did so fabulously well even when it was based on OTT. When you look at it as an actor, like is is that a moment of pride for you that I you have that platform where people will watch if it's a good content? You know, uh, yeah. I mean, with the uh, advent of uh, OTT uh, and so many new talents that you get to see and their work and so many varied subjects are being explored and being worked upon. What is f what is uh, you know very comforting and. Uh, Satisfactory for me that I you know I'm still relevant and I'm yeah. w I'm working in this time. Uh, and doing some of the best work, if I may. Add. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, so you really thank your luck uh, that uh, all of these years that it was 
no, it's not that I was sitting down, but yes, I was not this busy. I was, uh, I used to get some good scripts to do uh, uh, twice in a year, uh, or, or if I was very lucky, then thrice, or not more than that, okay? Because we were always looking for something worthwhile to do. The choices were not way too many. Offers were not so frequent, okay? But yes, OTT has changed a lot of things. And it has changed not only for me, but so many directors and actors and, uh, and the editors and the cinematographers, so many great talents are at work. Um, it is giving them lifestyle. Yes, it is, yeah. it is quite fascinating. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very good time to be working in. But do you think that has also changed how films are being made or a film ha is a completely different proposition? It doesn't the show. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't it's, show. It's far too complex, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, coming back to the whole OTD thing, where else would you, uh, I mean, I couldn't imagine a secrets uh, yeah. franchisee happening if it was not for OTT. It would be very difficult, you know, mm. to tell these stories. And that's the biggest blessing of this format that, you know, uh, you are cutting across uh, genres, you're cutting across formats, you're doing a, a documentary of this nature, you're sharing this kind of a story. I yeah. mean, that's, it's that's it's cool. amazing that I get to meet people who, you know, who have seen Sonali and they're talking to me yeah. Yeah, about Sonali or Secret of Absolutely. Kohinoor. So many young ones, you know, when you are at the airport or you're meeting some people in the people's place, you know, they come to you and talk about the the documentaries. Mm -hmm. I mean, documentaries is not something that we were so used to watching. But you know, mainly mainly this country. Forget about anything else. They, they we only watch mainly some cinema and nothing else, Absolutely. or t television. But uh, really watching documentaries and finding your uh, guy and going neck, going to him and complimenting him yeah. is a is is a yeah. is a great sign of a changing yeah. time, right? Right. Because we're talking about OTT, our uh, viewers will be disappointed if I don't ask you this, Manoj. Huh. When is Family Man 3 coming? This is a question. We are going to start our shoot uh, from first week of March. Wow. Yeah, so uh, we are in the prepping stage. Yeah, so, um, so uh, once we start and finish it, then there is a eight months <laughs> of <laughs> post-production. <laughs> So you can, they can do their calculation. But what can we expect from this? Season? A bigger and better one. Okay. This one, this one, and far more excruciatingly difficult for me. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, great. You heard it here first. <laughs> and because we're talking about secrets, I just because you guys have such a long association, we would like you guys to reveal one secret about something about each other. Secret. Us. Yes. In this secret, I can tell you. Please. In this case, you. ये जल्दी तैयारी नहीं होते हैं कि जहां पे भीड़ भाड़ वाली जगह हो नहीं जाएंगे ये ये अवार्ड फंक्शन पे नहीं जाएंगे आप इनको जो है किसी स्क्रीनिंग पे बुलाइएगा नहीं जाएंगे ये ये किस, किसी रेस्टोरेंट में जाके किसी ये ऐसी जगह जाएंगे जहां पे मतलब क्वाइट हो शांत जगह हो जहां <laughs> वहीं जा सकते हैं ये इनको मैं बहुत बार बुलाता हूं अपनी स्क्रीनिंग पे नहीं अब जानते हुए मैं मैसेज करता हूं कि अपनी गुफा से निकल के आई है बट आई सी इट बट ही ऑलवेज वॉच इट गुफा यस अबाउट मनोज और राघव आई मीन डजंट शो ऑन हिम बट ही इज अ फूडी हां या आई मीन आई हैव नेवर सीन दैट इंबैलेंस ऑफ <laughs> you know, being someone <laughs> looking like him <laughs> and being a foodie at the same time. Yeah. And uh, Raghav, uh, I mean, yeah, his love for fiction, like he just, <laughs> <laughs> he just slipped it in. <laughs> he's one guy, people talk about my intermittent, but uh, he's, look at him, he's a, he's a, he should be a brand ambassador for intermittent fasting. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go for sir this time. So, what you're saying, right? Every time, sir, Photoshop, Photoshop. Because I know sir also the amount of you know workout, करते हैं, how careful. And as sir said, he's a foodie also. वो है body अंदर. Photoshop नहीं है, वो है अंदर. जी. This was a big secret. Neera, so you scared? No, no, he's not scared. नहीं तो सब चुप रहता है कुछ नहीं है कोई नहीं बहुत कुछ है बहुत कुछ है बहुत कुछ है कुछ भी नहीं लेयर लेयर पे आई फोकस ऑन मनोज जी अभी ग्रेट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू